in eight or nine months when Yaakov has been exposed by Kerr as a complete fraud. He's a has-been. And we're looking for a new king of European distance running. Or maybe we'll already have it. Who will that be? Sure, it could be Whiteman or Kerr. Mario Garcia Romo. But we also thought it might be Let's Run podcast listener, the kid that grew up driving around Europe with his parents listening to this very podcast, Niels Laros. If you don't know Laros, we had him on the show earlier in the, in the year, I think. He's 18 years of age. He's running. I don't know if he's just running for a medal at Worlds. He might have been running for the win. Faded to 10th. Has a 331, 25, 1500 meter PB, 144, 78, 800 PB, 1323 in the 5,000. Monster talent. Anyways, he was in the European cross country under 20 race over the weekend. Had the lead coming into the home stretch. He had broken another teen phenom. So, Vane Christensen, guy they've been talking about in the Let's Run Forum for years. But it was Van Christensen who kicked down the 1500 stud and wins it. I love this clip, John. I love this race. I was, since we hung out with Neil's parents in Budapest, since he is a fan of the show, I'm obviously a fan of his. But I, I thought it was great that Van Christensen won this race. He's, he is 19. He's like nine months older than Laros. But it proved one of my points. Talent doesn't go away. I mean, in case you don't know who the, this Danish Van Christensen guy is, he ran 759, 1344 at age 16. Also 842 in the steeple. Think of your steeple as your two-mile time, basically. 842 at 16. Then he ran 829 in the steeple at 17. But he had been kind of doing nothing all year. There was a post on Let's Run saying that he was like not even running this summer. He was burned out, injured. I don't know. No track races. The DNF in Houston was his only track race. He ran a road 10K on October 21st, and now he wins this race. So I'm just excited to see like him come back from his struggles. Like it would have been a real shame if someone that talented just hung up the spikes. So good for him. Laurel sounds pissed that he lost. I'm sure he'll be back when you got the, that skill set. Doesn't I don't really care that he lost. But I'm excited for both these guys and, and can't wait to see what they do in 2023. If Van Christensen doesn't have a contract, I don't understand why this guy doesn't come to America for college. Like, I think it's a great system. I mean, he'd be contending – He'd be one of the top guys in the NCAA already. You beat Niels Laros in this race. You, I mean, Axel Van Christiansen's incredible. You also neglected to mention, Robert, he won Euro the Euro under-20 title in cross-country in 2021. So two years ago, when he was 17, he won that race. <laughs> That's pretty hard to do. He does it again, out-kicking Laros. So he ran down a 144-331 guy at the end of this race. And it wasn't a long race. The winning time was just over 16 minutes. I don't know exactly what distance it was. Doesn't really matter. The course was also very muddy. But I love this event. I love Eurocross. The some of the images from the start of this race were amazing. They had like cannons and stuff with orange paint or whatever, orange smoke. It looked just epic the start of the race. You had that whatever the structure is with all the bulls in Brussels that was in the background of some of the images. And you get some big talents showing up and running this thing. Jakob would show up every year when he was healthy and run it. And now you've got Laros. You know, he's run a good 5K, but more of a mid-distance guy. He's running it. It's kind of the European equivalent of NCAA cross. And it's really fun. I've said last year when we, they had this event, I wish that the US had something similar where pretty much all the best guys show up. And I'm kind of curious, you know, around this time of year and they get a hit out and we realize, Hey, not everyone's in peak shape, but this is still a fun event. It kind of gets everyone talking. 
yeah, I'd like to go. Yeah, Eurocross would be a fun event to cover one day. And I'm curious, looking at the calendar, World Athletics has now moved up the World Cross Country Championships for 2026 when the U.S. hosts in Tallahassee. Usually, World Cross is at the end of March. In 2026, it's going to be January 10th. Do you guys think that more Americans will show up 